Hi guys, Dr. Lavin. So today our medical life hack is about scald and this is where we actually damage our skin due to hot water or hot steam falling on our skin. Now it's important to manage this properly because there are some myths attached to it which I want to try and clarify now and also have a good management plan. Those of us who are parents, we're always worried about our children getting in this situation, so it'd be good to have a nice idea. So remember, when there is an occasion where we receive a scald on the skin, always, always make sure the clothing and the jewellery around that specific point is removed. The jewellery, unfortunately, due to the skin swelling, can actually get stuck, and also the clothing that's attached there can damage the skin. However, we don't request that you remove everything, because unfortunately that can actually make the body go into hypothermia, so the body getting colder. It's also important to apply water, and that's normally running water for about 20 minutes. Now this water should be cool, not cold, and the reason for this is because the skin is actually the largest organ in the body, so it's one unit. Therefore, if there's an area of damage in that area, we don't want to shock the body at that point because it can have a profound impact on the rest of the body. So, when we do get a scald, just remember on that area 20 minutes of cool running water. If you are stuck in the middle of the park or somewhere else and you're having a hot coffee, for example, and you want something applied on that area, anything, a juice, milk, for the time being is absolutely fine till you have access to running water. After you've applied the running water, remember do not cut short. The point of the running water for the 20 minutes is because it cools the whole system in that area down. You can imagine when you have a heat source, if you only use it for say five minutes, that heat still remains and it can spread through the skin, potentially causing damage. So after we've done our 20 minutes of cooling the water, it's good to just dab the area down with something that doesn't shed. So some form of dressing that you can just dab down to cool down the area and in preparation to apply maybe cling film. Now before applying cling film, there are many people who actually put things like margarine, butter, flour, Remember guys, we're not performing the Great British Break Off here. This is nice and simple where we just want cool running water and after we've dabbed it down, just applying a layer of clean film very loosely just to avoid the risk of infection because unfortunately this area of interruption can encourage infection. One other point I sometimes tell some patients is aloe vera can help in these kind of cases. So the only product I kind of recommend is aloe vera. So, in summary of our video today, if you do unfortunately get into the incident where your child or someone you know has got a scold due to the hot water or steam, remember to remove anything in that area that could potentially cause damage to the skin, apply the cool water for about 20 minutes to calm the area down, dab the area down and then apply a very loose layer of cling film. That's your medical life hack for today.